Hello and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zim... I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to introduce the new website! Woohoo! So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We've already been doing a bunch of bubblings uh, about the new features in Zim 014, the latest version of Zim. And this is the new website at zimjs.com. And we have a new banner up top. Wow, with this sort of future vapor wave kind of landscape and the plasma pods coming up over top of them. Wow, isn't that cool? So uh, this is editable. You can pick up these points and move them around and that will end up being saved across uh, multiple pages. You can also double click on the points like that and get one of these stems and make uh, smooth curves or do anything that the Zim blobs do. Isn't that cool? So uh, another thing that we've done up here is we've made Discord and Slack links right up top here. They used to be in the footer. If we scroll down to the footer, oh, you're going to get a preview of the page. <laughs> Not too much. Down in the footer, uh, we have a new TikTok icon and a dev icon. So we've added two social media icons there. Taken a note that Discord and Slack are no longer in here. So Discord and Slack are available up here and in the top, our main forums of communication. We also took away the news page. So the, the top links here, there's no more news page and added that to the about section. So let's take a look at the about section. It's much like it was before where you have an intro. We've adjusted the Patreon links a little bit. Um, here is a vision. So this is a new section, although we did introduce that just at the end of the last version. But we have a new vision and that can be linked to from the front when you see these uh, little posters, these uh, promo posters. And our vision, well, uh, we've always had this vision that is code creativity, and that's using our code creativity to help you code creativity. <laughs> nice, huh? But this section of the vision section is new. Coming down, there's features, and we've combined the features to include the features as well as the uses uh, right here. So those are the common uses of Zim. And then we've introduced a new section here called versions. And this used to be the news section. So in the news section, we would say what's going on in the different versions. And here is now versions in, inside of the about. We'll bolster this a little bit. Uh, in a while, you'll see probably the, the icons of the various new things in there. And then here's what was new in Zim Zim, along with the Zim version Zim a mini site that's right there. Here's NFT and its mini site, Cat and its mini site, Ten and its mini site, uh, Neo and its mini site, etc. And then some of the older versions as well. And then back down to the reviews and the rest of it's um, the same. Uh, oh, we almost got to that part. I'm going to go under the reviews and take a look. Plasma points. Okay, so those are distributed uh, throughout the website as well. And you can check that out. If we go down to the founder, there's me, Dr. Abstract. But I was wanting to go right to the very bottom. Note that in the gold bars here, we have a top link. Uh, previously, and, and still, you can hit the intro right here, and that'll take you up to the top. But we also have a gold bar. We're not always on one of these uh, barred pages. So anyway, we, we have this gold bar at the bottom that takes us to the top. Great. We still have our little uh, Easter egg where we click this bar off of these links. If we click that bar, it takes us down to the gold bars. So if you're wanting, if you're here and you're wanting to get to the videos, the easiest way is hit the bar, hit the videos, uh, that type of thing, or the zap tool or any of these things. So what is down here? Since we're down here, intro, map, tips, school, kids, vids, zap, those are pretty well all the same. Yeah, the editor is no longer down here. Why is that? Or go up to the top because the editor is at the top, aha, right? So that's where we had always planned on putting it. So our about um, now encompasses the news. Examples is pretty well the same. Store, oh, that's new. Um, we've, we did a bubbling on the store, but just note that we, we do have a store. And then the editor can be, um, we can arrive at the editor right here. Learn section, basically the same. Code section, docs and devs, uh, pretty well the same, but they're all, uh, they all look the same now. So here's the learn section and note that it looks the same as the code section, which looks the same as the example section, etc. 
So the only one that's different along here, well, the docks is a little bit different, but still the top of the docks is um, all the same. And then we have, we open it up into the, the regular docks down below there. Uh, the updates as well as um, is in there. For the editor, it kind of goes to a different look, but uh, so be it, that's the editor look, that's right here. And there's, there's our editor. All right, we press the Z and we're back into the Zap Store here. So what we haven't looked at yet, though, is the very front page. We looked at the the links across the top, but here are the new things. So the link to the Zap Store. By the way, all these titles also link through, but you can press that to get to the Zap Store. Ooh, how exciting. Oh, so we did a bubbling on the Zap Store and the various zaps inside. So go check that out. Note that once we're there, so I'm here in the store, I have no home anymore. That was so that we had enough room to put all these things. So to get home, you press on the big Z and that goes home. We have our link to our demos. We'll probably be adding in the near future uh, a few more demos to that as well. These are demos for people who are new to coming into Zim, can see the types of things that Zim can do that perhaps other other frameworks can't or that Zim does very well. So there's the Zim pen, here's integrated physics, there's all the special Zim shapes, including blobs and squiggle, dynamic parameters, which are quite amazing, animating long paths, okay? So that will link you right into the editor and get you going in the editor. We have a description that we're a general Canvas framework. This links through to the special thing in the learn section that talks about the Canvas. And then we have the designer code, which links through to our vision. That's neat, huh? We would really hope, we like the idea of a designer code. Our code is simple enough, sorry, designers, <laughs> simple enough for designers to use, simple enough for kids to use, simple enough for designers to use. And quite often designers want to do some of that code themselves. So where we're really um, trying to excel is uh, being a very beautiful, very visual, very elegant, very colorful framework and yet simple at the same time. So we would love it if you were a designer, tell your designer friends, you can come in here and do some code. Uh, it's, it's great for developers as well, no doubt. So <laughs> if it's simple, it's great for everybody. That's as far as we're concerned. Here's the editor section on the front right here that links through to our editor along with the starting example for, for the editor. So you can try that out. And application uses, which links through into the the about under uses, but also features our 10 banners that have been around since Zim 10. So these are great things that Zim is used for. That whole section hasn't changed. So you go in that, it's like kind of a mini site section. So here's generative art and note the banner is all kind of different up here. So it's the same as it has been. Uh, and then there's all these examples of generative art that you can press on. You can also open up the more section here and find out how we're making this art. What are the things inside of Zim that we use, such as the generator, which is like processing and, and other things that we uh, use in Zim. All right, uh, to get back, you would press on a logo and we're, we're back to here again. Uh, here's some information on code efficiency. We're using 63% less code than other frameworks. That's like incredible. Um, so that's including things like the original CreateJS, Flutter, uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript as sort of like a combination. Um, the P5JS, Paper, Phaser, Pixie, React, Vue. Etc. We're always coming in at lower. There are definitely some things that you know React and Vue are good for for making information sites like Facebook and stuff and social media sites like that. Great, but uh, don't use that kind of stuff for interactive media. Come use Zim on the canvas. And some reviews as to why we hope to be the the next thing after the kids learn Scratch. Hey learn the canvas. It's real code, real JavaScript, and we've got some reviews talking about how it's a great place to come for, um, for kids and youth to learn how to code. And then we're, we've hit the gold bars at the bottom. Woohoo! We have the intro, the gold bars, by the way. If you press into them, for instance, the intro, switch a little bit to a light background color. So this is the intro, the light theme um, template right here, but you've got the same footer, or same header and same footer. And then here's the intro. We've simplified this a little bit. 
and you just click on that and you see the intro thing. We may have this link right into the editor soon. At the moment, you can just peruse the code right here. It's not in the editor, but uh, it was suggested that we could move that into the editor and perhaps that makes sense. So the editor has been wonderful. It's been a great place where as we're giving help in forums, we can just put the answers right there in the editor go through, we probably should do a bubbling on what's new in the editor. Okay, yeah, we'll do that too. So check out the bubbling on what's new in the editor. And uh, we'll, we'll leave it at that for now though. So back in the gold bars here, here's the map. So the map again is on the light. This is like a, um, uh, what, what is it called? <laughs> can't remember, site map, that's it, a site map, and you can save things. So if you like the interactive advertising part, that's been added now. And so up here, we have interactive advertising added to a saved place. All right, so that's the map. <laughs> Lots of things in Zim. Here are tips. Tips are also in the, uh, the light template like that, where you're getting all of the latest things in Zim including how to deal with any changes, some uh, some glossary, things that if, if they're not working for you, if you can't see something, there's reasons why like it might be missing. That's right here, missing. What to do if you're missing. So here are things to check if you're missing. Okay, so this is the, um, this is the Zim tips. And we want to go to the bottom, how to get to the bottom, hit that bar, goes to the bottom. Uh, there's Zim School, that, that remains the same, Kids remains the same. We'll probably bring those into Zim version 014, but we have not quite yet. But they're, they're relatively up to date anyway. They're in the NFTs, I think, which are pretty well the same um, all throughout. Okay, uh, as we currently have. So there's Vids and Zap. The Zap tool is a way that we can share code with other people and um, they can go find it. Great for teachers. And although we also have the editor now, and then we hit the top. Okay, so here is boop, 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 boop. back to the front. I think we saw everything, did we? Doom, doom, doom. Under the code section, we've added a few things in the code section. So if you come down, these guys, all these, uh, these are tertiary. So these are uh, third level pages. All those have been moved into the latest template as well. Uh, let's see, how do I get back there? Well code again. And there's NFTs, the zaps have been all moved, the Zim Shim stuff has all been moved into the new template. So that was a lot of pages to move into the new template, the CDN, the ES6 modules and stuff. Down below here we added one in here. Where is it? Boat two, 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 two. Then there are the tools. Hints right here. So we've added uh, code hints to VS Code through in, um, doing uh, this one, Node Package Manager I for install Zim types, and then you'll get Zim typings into your editor like VS Code or other editors can do this as well. And um, the trick is though, you have to be in a JS file. So you can't be in JavaScript in the HTML file. Often Zim is a single page app, a spa, and we're working with JavaScript right in the HTML. It makes it totally simple, uh, easy to do. Um, anyway, the code hints won't work in there. Code hints aren't for everybody anyway. There are a lot of parameters. If you go to the docs, there's a lot of parameters in Zim. So look at all these things. All those are showing up in your code hints. So you may or may not want those if you're used to code hints and are, find that they're helpful. You can work in a JavaScript file in Zim and you'll get your code hints. Yay, so uh, it's been a long time trying to figure out how to get that done. And it's still kind of like, okay, for the most part, we have typings that are 3000 pages long or something like that. So it's a lot of effort and work to keep up TypeScript typings. And people who have been using TypeScript have had the code hints all along. Uh, anyway, we wanted to get undefinitely typed, but we couldn't quite get our typings to, to pass their, their, their muster there, but mustard, <laughs> mustard. <laughs> mustard <laughs> anyway uh we're still going back and forth with them but all this stuff is just like oh my gosh you know trying to get required to work a node package manager and stuff we've got you know, three or four different types of developers over the times you know good at that still having problems with that system it's like oh zim is so simple you just put one single import at the top and you get going <laughs> that's all you need and why why are you doing all this other stuff uh so anyway maybe you have your your reasons uh, this is an introduction to the Zim site, though. We don't really need to go into those uh, reasons right now. Great. 
Did we do it? Yeah, so there's some extra stuff in the code. The docs are pretty well the same as they were before, but in the new uh, thing, I think we did it. That's a wrap. We will do um, a bubbling on the editor as well, the updates in the editor. So go do that now. Cheers. Have a great day or night. Come visit us at zimjs.com slash discord or slack right up there as well at the top. We've moved those up to the top. We have uh, our new social media down here at the bottom of TikTok. So if you're on TikTok, certainly follow us, please. We need help. And uh, then the dev as as well has been added for articles. And hopefully we'll do some more dev articles. We kind of, st the plan was uh, these last couple of months or this month, next month, we are going to do some updates to Medium articles and probably some dev articles as well. So concentrate more on helping people who are, who are reading things about um, interactive media. Uh, but we ended up spending this whole month solidly working on the new site, working on the new version of Zim. And so uh, that hasn't quite happened yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I think there's a holiday plan somewhere in there. All right. Um, cheers. Uh, I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. Hopefully you're enjoying Zim. Um, please give this YouTube video a like or a follow or whatever thumbs up, I guess it is, and let people know about Zim as much as you can in social media. Cheers. Bye-bye.